Namaste Soul Tribe, Spiritual Healer, back to give you guys a message. This message is for my fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, watching this video. Thank you guys for joining me for this message, okay? <clears throat> and I cleanse the energy of my space, archangels and warriors of light. Holy Spirit, join me now. Speak to me clearly. Give me the important messages for the fire signs. Clear this energy of any darker karmic energies trying to obstruct my message or my video. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay. So, my beautiful fire signs, it's like these silly karmics are up to their old tricks again, okay? So, there's like these silly karmics in your life that are always trying to figure out how they're going to trigger you, how they're going to get information out of you, how they're going to show up, try to question you, try to question your beliefs, okay? Someone doesn't believe about... Like, someone doesn't believe that you have definitely trans had a transformation, that you have transformed yourself, that you are um, no lo longer allowing anyone to come into your life and take you for granted, okay? Undermine you, trick you, okay? Because when I got this message, I heard Spirit say, Silly karmic, tricks are for kids. So, yeah, that's what Spirit said. I can't make it up. I wrote it down. It says, silly karmic tricks are for kids, okay? So somebody's up to their old tricks again, okay? And someone around you is taking trips or took a trip recently, okay? They could have took a trip somewhere. I heard I heard Jamaica. I heard New York. I heard uh, Texas. Somebody's taking a trip. Somebody's taking trips or they took a trip recently, to pay for some sort of spell work, okay? To block you guys, to stop you guys, because some of you guys are right headed for your destiny. Some of you guys are on your road to success, okay? On 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 a stage performing. That's what I heard. Somebody watching you guys could be a performer, okay? And you're headed to the top, okay? You're about to blow up or whatever. You're being recognized. You're working hard for something. And now somebody's taking a trip or took a trip to try to pay for some sort of spell work. But this person doesn't understand that they're being watched and investigated. And there's receipts, okay, that there's spell work that's being paid for. Or there's proof of messages or phone calls, okay, of these trips this person's taking or this trip. Because I feel like someone took more than one trip when it comes to you guys. This karmic sibling, okay, there's a karmic sibling that you guys could be dealing with. It could be a brother or sister, could be a half-brother, half-sister, whatever. This karmic sibling is teamed up with your family, with a father figure, with one of your exes or a lover, with a cousin or a mother figure, okay? And they're teaming up. The sibling is teaming up <clears throat> because this sibling has always been competing with you. This sibling has always been trying to one-up you. This sibling feels like you don't deserve anything, okay? This sibling um, feels like um, they want to they wanna outcast you or they want to put you out there as if you have these spiritual gifts. Oh, yeah, this sibling will talk about you to anybody that will listen. They talk about your spiritual gifts, okay? The sibling, whether sister or brother energy, talking about your, your spiritual gifts, talking about that how they're evil, <clears throat> okay? This person ganged up a lot of people in your family or community against you at one point in the past, too, and was always slandering your name or gossiping. This sibling could have kept somebody... Like, you have a soulmate that's meant to come in, that you guys are meant to be together. This soulmate could have reached out to this sibling of yours and um, wanted to know your number, wanted to know what was going on with you because this soulmate wanted to approach you, wanted to repair a connection. And this karmic sibling of yours, sister or brother, talked a lot of crap about you to this person. So this person wouldn't approach you, so they caused a delay. Because you guys, for some of you guys watching, your soulmate union was supposed to be months months ago but some of you guys had this delayed because of this karmic sister or brother that was um putting you down to this ex or lover that was supposed to be with you wow some most of you guys watching this video for a lot of you guys watching this video you guys are starting to boss up and for other people watching this video you guys are in this energy of having the cre creative ideas so that way you can boss up. So um, Spirit said, what are you waiting for? Get in your calling, boss up, start your um, business. Um, write your ideas down on paper, guys, because the Most High God is, is calling you to stand, into, stand, stand up and get into your power and take your, 
take your um position right now because the spiritual warfare is real okay let me tell you guys at la since the last aries reading that i did um it was like a whole group of witches or a whole coven of witches teamed up and tried to throw spell work at me right after i posted that aries video i felt the remnants of that that effect of that until just like yesterday so whatever um I did my coconut cleanse. I do what I always do to cleanse myself, and I got rid of it, okay? It's like almost like these psychics are doing, they're up to their old tricks. So now they're doing psychic attacks again. Now they're trying to re remind you of your past and, like, project the past onto you again, okay? Or they're talking about something that happened in the past because they don't got nothing else to talk about. So they're very desperate, okay? They're very desperate to lower your vibration, to um, block you from success. They're very desperate to have other people um, talking about you or walk away from you, gang stalking you, just like they did in the past, okay? It is not working. You guys um, already know who you are. You understand you have a higher calling. You understand that you're a powerful empath, healer, or light worker, or earth angel. And when these people teamed up, they didn't realize who you were because you were like the diamond in the rough. Okay, because you were always um, being projected on since you were young. You were you 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 had a life for orchestrated events. Oh, like these these family members put you in in, in, in positions in your life that you could have never you would have never made it out of those situations in your life that these people put you in. But you had powerful ancestors. You had a team of angels. Okay, and you had God Himself that was always rooting for you. That already chose you for this. Okay, and this is what they didn't understand, that God was going to separate the water when the time came so you guys wouldn't drown. Uh-huh. And, um, yeah, somebody, somebody, either you guys or somebody around you guys is, like, secretly making plans to relocate, okay? Somebody's on the run. That's what I heard. Somebody's having a tower moment, and they're being served paperwork, and this person's going to go on the run because they don't want to face the consequences for what they did to you, because they could have used your information, they could have been paying for spell work, whatever it is that they, they were doing, they got served, they know that they're caught, they know there's proof, this person is planning to run, okay, and for some of you guys watching, you guys are planning to relocate without saying anything to anybody, you're just going to do what you got to do, make plans and move, okay, and that's the best thing for you, okay, and I heard the name, when I was channeling these messages, I heard the name Shamika, I heard the name Terrell, I heard the name, um, Jamika with a J, Jamika or Shamika, Spirit said. Terrell, Francis, I heard Frankie, I heard Trina, I heard Tina, I heard Blake, I heard Monique or Monica, I heard John, and I heard Angela or Angel, okay? And I also heard Billy or somebody's name could be Billy or Bob, whatever. Okay, so I'm going to get into the tarot and excuse the noise outside my loves because there's like a whole construction going on here for like weeks. I've been getting gang stalked by this energy. Okay, so just know that I am heavily targeted, but I am a warrior of light and I never back down. I never stand down and I'm never scared. I ain't never scared. I ain't never scared. That's your energy, fire signs. You guys ain't scared. You guys are fearless. You guys know you're protected. Some of you guys, are like myself, I reunited with my daughter over the weekend. It was the best, like the best day ever, guys. Okay, and um, I was able to um, start to heal a part of me that was missing. Okay, because that part of me was missing for seven years when people orchestrated in my life and took my kids. And um, yeah, so I had a breakthrough. God answered a prayer for me, and I'm very grateful and humble. And I'm going to continue to serve my ancestors and spirit guides and be in my calling, okay, until they tell me that I don't have to, okay? Until that day comes, I'm going to be right here with you guys, okay? For some of you guys, you might be reuniting with a child or, or children or a child. Unexpectedly, truth is coming out to the light. People, you know, people, people was trying to... Um, Ruin your life with slander, with gossip, with false statements. If you lost your child and these people took your children or this ex or family members, you will see your child. An unexpected event is going to occur. Okay? That's not for everybody. That's whoever it resonates with. Take that message. Okay? And there's a knight of swords that's been <laughs> causing a lot of drama, chaos, and conflict in your lives. 
Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? Or this person did in the past and now they want to come through. I don't know if this person wants to resurrect something with you guys, okay? But this person doesn't feel like they're coming out on top. This person doesn't feel like they're winning. This person feels like since they betrayed you, since they walked away, they had a series of events happen in their life because the angels and God don't play about you guys. You guys are protected. You guys were genuine with this person. You guys loved, you know, helped this individual here. Okay, and now you guys are just focused, like I said, bossing up, focus on your craft, focus on your work, focus on your business, focus on moving forward, fo focusing on healing your energies, focusing on doing good deeds, and you guys, something's going to really turn out good for you guys, an opportunity, a major windfall, um, or um, a business that's taking off, okay, something you created with your own hard work, with your blood, sweat, and tears, right, yeah, six of pentacles in reverse, Someone is just trying to get away with taking something that was yours, okay? Or someone's trying to get away with taking money from you and giving it. It's almost like you see this this guy holding a coin, and then he has another coin, and then you see those hands right here. It's almost like um, everybody wanted a piece of your money. Everybody wanted a piece of your fortune. Everybody had their hands out. It's almost like people coming from the past with their hands out. But no, these people wasn't there when you were working hard. These people wasn't there when you were being affected by all the spell work and all the betrayal that they caused. So no, they can't have a handout, okay? <clears throat> That's what Spirit said. Ain't nobody going to get a handout. If, even if you were dealing with an earth sign or an air sign. You're not going to give nobody a handout because the justice scales are being balanced out. Okay? Yeah, because they had you in the energy of the Four of Cups. But the Four of Cups is reversed now. They had you doubting yourself. They had you doubting love. They had you in despair. They, you know, they sabotage everything, but now you're in the energy of winning, okay? Now you're headed towards your success. And um, don't allow these people to come back in. That's all I got to say. Yep, Queen of Wands. You're in the Queen of Wands energy in the upright. Some of you guys are getting um, sunflowers, or you love sunflowers. You have sunflowers, okay? You resonate with sunflowers, Okay, you're crowning yourself, you're loving yourself, you're taking your throne, you're taking back your power, and you're moving full speed ahead, and you're bossing up here, okay? Now these people are freaking regretful. It's almost like as soon as you started bossing up, or as soon as you started loving yourself and being happy, these people started to experience sour moments because they cannot be happy unless you're miserable. They can never be happy when you're happy. They will never come and congratulate you, so don't even wait for it. These people are bitter karmics and exes and family members. They were designed to take you out. You were the chosen one. They were designed to go against you. They were designed to slander your name. That was already destined. That was already written. But the part that they didn't understand was that your life was already destined. And you were always meant to be the privileged lady or the privileged man. You were always meant to be successful. But they didn't understand because they didn't get the memo. Okay? They didn't get the memo. They thought you were just this, this like... I don't know. They just thought that you were easy to manipulate. They thought that you were naive. They thought that they could do what they wanted with you since you were growing up and the different things they did in your life. You always forgave these people, but enough is enough. You're standing your ground right now. And Spirit said enough is enough. Okay? Yeah, I'm telling you, this King of Swords came out in reverse. I can't make it up. This King of Swords is adamant about sabotaging you. And like I said before, this can be a whole ex- a lover, and this could also be a father figure, or this could definitely be a sibling. This could definitely be a brother here. Energy. Mm -mm. Yeah, you blocking a lot of people out of your life. You blocking a lot of people from messaging you. Someone's trying to message you, but they're uh, they're finding out they're blocked. You could have blocked another fire sign. You'd be blocking another fire sign out of your life. This person's karmic, and this knight of wands um, energy, okay? M male or female, this person just like... This person wants to sleep with whoever you, you're with, or this person wants to sleep around and then come around your energy, and you can feel that dark energy on this person. It's like you can read this person. You know when this person is taking trips, they're up to no good. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I told you someone is taking trips to do spell work, but you could be dealing with a Libra, but you're getting some justice here, or you could have Libra in your chart. You're getting the justice here. The justice scales are coming. They're balancing out fire signs. Keep on working on your energy. Keep on working on your projects. Don't look back. Not everybody's going to like you. Not everybody's meant to like you. Because if you worry about the people that don't like you, you're never going to make it. Like yourself. Love yourself. It doesn't matter. The Most High God favors you. That's all you need to know. The ancestors have a purpose and a mission for you. And that's where you need to go. Okay? So 
Go on your intuition. You guys are very intuitive. Use your intuition. Okay? This is just your confirmation. You guys already know that the justice is coming. And you will get your six of pentacles. Those scales will be evened out. I'm trying to tell you guys. You have nothing to worry about. <clears throat> okay? They're up to their old tricks again. Yeah, with the devil energy. I can't make it up. Thank you, spirit. The devil energy is under the deck. Yeah, they're up to their old tricks. Because they know you're the star. Okay? Because somehow... Somehow they want to psychically block you. Somehow they want to siphon your energy. Somehow I heard somebody wants to come up in your dreams. Okay? And, um, like, attack you in your sleep. Some of you guys are going through this now. Like I already said, do your cleansings. If you need any advice on how to cleanse, email me. Because I don't want to keep telling you guys on my video how to cleanse. And then these karmics are watching my videos and they know what you guys are doing already. Alright, so Spirit told me not to do that. If you guys need any advice of how to cleanse, just kindly email me and I will let you guys know anything you need to know, okay? Spirit, what's going on with the fire signs? Yeah, you guys are fed the hell up, okay? But there's a money miracle and a money blessing that's headed your way because the Most High God said this is the time that He chose to put you on a whole nother journey. So when God decides He's going to take you and uproot you from where you are, He will give you the means to do so. And He's sending you a money miracle. So if you guys, any of you guys feel stuck where you are, God's about to send your ship. God is sending your treasure. God is sending you someone that's going to come and help you or a significant amount of money that's oh, is coming now. This is the destined time for it to happen. And someone's hiding a child or a secret love child, this karmic is getting exposed, okay? So if your masculine or your feminine was with a karmic, that shit is that shit is going to be, that tower's hitting. There's a tower that's coming, yeah? And somebody's headed to jail. Somebody could be, like, on the run because they also have a secret love child. So this person is, like, everything is piling up on this karmic because this karmic kept teaming up again, uh, on you with your own family members or close ones in the past. And now they're up to their same tricks. They're doing it again. Okay? Because they obviously see that they, they can't take you out with spell work. They can't take you out with manipulation. You are too awakened and evolved that you will not fall for any of their tricks. They're silly if they're trying to do that still. Because you guys are on another level energetically. Maybe that worked in the past, but that shit won't work right now. Because you're having rags to riches. You're headed for success. And someone's headed for jail. I can't make it up. Judgment and justice is here. The justice system is definitely involved. Okay? If there was any crooked officials in that justice system, they're definitely going down as well. They're definitely involved. Yeah, they've been trying to hack your accounts or computer, but at the end of the day, you're protected. You're 10 steps ahead. You already know when this is being done. Spirit always tells you. Right? And now this person from your past is awakening because they see you getting, you know, they see you getting recognition. Put it that way. It's not all about money, but it's about recognition. It's about people seeing your worth now. And this person and these people never did. And now when they see other people recognizing your worth, you know, giving you your, your, your respect, you giving yourself your respect. Now they realize that they never stopped loving you. But is that going to be enough? Because for a lot of these people that, that haven't come in and made things right, they ran out of time with you. Fire signs, you guys are fed up. You're tired of waiting. You're not doing that anymore. Okay? Yeah. Spirit. Okay? Yeah. Somebody that's with a karmic and this karmic knows this person still loves you. Okay? So the karmic tried to purposely get pregnant to hold down this masculine. There's a masculine finding out that wasn't even his child. This karmic plotted. Okay? And there's another masculine that could have had a child with a karmic, but that child's not going to stop him from coming back because that this masculine is just fed up. This masculine can't do it any longer. This masculine wants to rush in. I feel like somebody's rushing in because they, they know that you're about to be swept off your feet. Yeah, and then you guys had this jealous cousin that wanted this masculine or this femme, this jealous cousin, male or female, that was over here telling the person that you were meant to be with a bunch of bullshit about you or this brother or sister that was doing that. Could have been an earth sign that, that, that you were dealing with, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But you're going to have a choice between two people, fire signs, okay? You have a choice between new and someone old, okay? Someone new and someone from the past. Because that all they did was try to make you jealous. This person always tried to make you jealous. And it has been so long, okay, that you've been um, 
moving on, and all of a sudden, here they go, talking about, I need you now, okay, yeah, please choose me now, okay, because you have a lot of options, but you guys, you have an instant connection with somebody, okay, you, you're, you're going to connect with somebody new, that you have an instant connection with, maybe you have a past life uh, connection here, but you guys are both spiritual, you guys are both um, empaths, okay, it's like, um, you could be the prophet, this person is a visionary, you could be the healer, this person could be the, the prophet, or whatever, but you guys were meant to meet and connect, you guys were meant to work on something spiritual together, okay, and you guys were meant to heal or help humanity, like humanitarian energy, and now somebody's gonna rush back in and say, I'm fighting for you, because you're having an instant connection with somebody else, I can't make it up, okay, yeah, all they did was try to make you jealous, wow, 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 wow. Some of you guys are having a child. Congratulations for anybody watching this video, um, any of my divine feminines that are expecting a child. Congratulations. Some of you guys will be having chosen starseed children, rainbow children. So um, this child was really meant to be. This child was destined, okay, to heal Mother, uh, Mother Gaia and the planet. Wow. Somebody's just full of resentment and hostilities over your glow up, over your transformation. They can't stand it, okay, because they, they did everything they could to bring you down. They talk to anybody that will listen. They team people up, and you just rose right out of the ashes like the phoenix, and they can't stand it, okay? So it is what it is. This person's bitter. Remember, guys, this person's bitter, and they are going to... Try all their old tactics. First, they're going to try to project the past onto you. Then they're going to try to do psychic spells, confusion spells. Then they're going to test your spirituality. They're going to question your spirituality. They're going to think they're making a mockery out of you. They're going to trigger you on purpose. So the best thing for you to do is cut this person off. Cut them off for good, okay? This person only come in to cause disruption, okay? Yeah, you guys are working on so many things. Foundation and achievements, making, like, having foundations here, setting your foundations, having beautiful achievements, seeing rainbow, that rainbow energy here. Wow, rainbow star seeds. Wow. So you have a lot of knowledge and wisdom here. You carry ancient knowledge and wisdom, right? But somebody wants you to feel emotional loss. Somebody wants you to feel in despair. Somebody wants you to remember the past. Somebody wants to trigger that. But you guys already healed from the past. Don't let nobody trigger you from the past, okay? Okay, because tricks are for kids. That's what Spirit said. These tricks are for kids, karmics. Okay, so nobody can use the past to trigger you because you def you overcame those obstacles. You defeated those demons. You changed your ways. You reflected. Some of you guys have become celibate as myself. And um, so they have nothing else to talk about. They're just going to make stuff up now. Since they ran out of shit to talk, they're going to make up stuff. Okay, so you don't got to pay attention to those little kids um, making stuff up. Okay, because they're going to fester in their own demons while you're over here winning because a major opportunity is coming in and you got to be there to accept it. You can't be worried about what they're doing because it's like, this is what they're always doing. Okay, let them run in circles. Let them, let them fool themselves because nobody's fooling you because you're the high priestess. Okay, because you have clairaudient gifts or you um, already know what someone's going to say before they even say it. You already feel their energy when they walk in the room. Okay, so whoever's taking trips to pay for spell work, they're being watched or investigated. That shit automatically backfired. You didn't even feel it. Maybe you felt a little bit of it. Maybe you woke up feeling a little bit dizzy or a headache or you didn't feel good, but you beat that shit off. Mm -hmm. Because you're way too powerful right now. You are a force to be reckoned with. So look, you know what? Stand your ground, keep your head up, and move forward. Okay? Always be confident. Never lose that confidence. Okay? Never lose your confidence or your faith. Because the Most High God is giving you that. He's giving you all the tools you need. He's giving you the resources. He's uprooting you by the roots. And he's putting you on a whole nother timeline. Okay? They can't even access you anymore. Even if they're in the same room, you don't even, like, it's like you don't even notice them. Because you're so focused on what you're doing. And you're so focused on what ancestors is telling you. The messages you're getting when these people come around. Pay attention to that too. Okay, so this is your message, fire signs, a reconciliation, a reunion is coming between two soulmates, twin souls, 
the karmics are out of time. They're so silly, but they're up to the same tricks. So that you already defeated these tricks. You already know what they are. You know the signs. So yeah, you have nothing to worry about. Everything that's meant for you is coming in. Your ships are really coming in, okay? But you need to move forward. Never look back to the past. That was a lesson. Now this, this is your blessing, okay? Till the next time, my loves. If you need a reading, reach out to me. Thank you for your love, comments, and donations. Love you so much. Namaste.